dust. It's a hazard in many workplaces that you might be aware of. You know it can cause surfaces to become slippery and that you don't want to breathe it or get it in your eyes. But what if I told you a layer of dust as thin as a few sheets of paper could be responsible for this or this? You see, many types of dust can explode. And these include not just organic materials like flour, sugar, or wood, but also inorganic materials such as some metals, paint, plastics, pharmaceuticals, and even some types of textiles. OSHA has identified more than 130 products or materials that pose a hazard for dust explosion. The fact is, many facilities that have processes that produce dust or fine particles may be at risk of a dust explosion, often with catastrophic results, unless precautions are taken and proper procedures are followed. And that's what this video is about. The National Fire Prevention Association defines combustible dust as a finely divided combustible particulate solid that presents a flash fire hazard or explosion hazard when suspended in air or the process-specific oxidizing medium over a range of concentrations. We'll examine what that means and how it can affect you in your workplace. First of all, what makes dust such a highly combustible fuel source? You're probably familiar with the ingredients necessary to start a fire. They make up what's commonly referred to as the fire triangle. They are fuel, oxygen, and heat. When talking about combustible dust, we add two more ingredients dispersion and confinement. This is what is referred to as the dust explosion pentagon. In order for a dust explosion to occur, all five of these ingredients must be in place. Dust explosions happen when dust fuel is dispersed into oxygen, reaching a sufficient level of concentration in an area of confinement and comes into contact with an ignition source, heat. The scary thing about dust is that it doesn't just burn, it explodes.